Have you ever had this problem where you're setting up a scene, everything looks good, but the background just feels dead? You want something cinematic, especially for an evening or night shot, but you can't use volumetrics because that's going to increase render time and slow everything down. And at the same time, you can't even use the traditional method of adding a 2D image on a plane because the camera is animated and the illusion completely breaks the moment the camera starts moving. I ran into this exact issue while working on this scene and after trying a bunch of different methods, I found a really simple solution that looks realistic, works perfectly with camera animation and doesn't affect your render time. And the best part is, it's completely free. So stick around because this is going to save you a lot of time in your future projects. Let's start with the evening shot. So this shot is pretty dark and it really needs something beautiful in the background. The default sky texture is just not enough. And honestly, my laptop will divorce me if I use volumetric clouds. So I started looking for better options. And that's when I realized that we can just use HDR eyes. Now, before you say you already know about it, wait, there is more to it. The problem with using high dynamic range images is that almost all of them have buildings, trees, or some kind of obstacles. And second of all, these do a very bad job at lighting your scene. But I have figured it out, and to solve the first problem, we are just going to use skies with no obstacles, which are basically called pure skies. Now Polyhaven gives some pure sky options, which are great, but after doing a bit more research, I found this amazing collection of pure skies that are completely free. The link is in description. Head over to the HDRI section and add those in the cart that you like. When done, just check out. Download it, and then in Blender, open the shader editor and switch to the World tab. Select the background node, press Ctrl plus T, and load your HDRI. Just make sure Node Wrangler is enabled for this to work, otherwise you'll have to set it up manually. Once that's done, you'll instantly get a really nice and clean background. You can also use the pure skies that Polyhaven provides. Just download the HDR format and choose a higher quality than 8K resolution. There are also HDRIs that can work for the nighttime if you keep the strength low. I've already made a complete video on outdoor lighting in Blender, so you can check that out as well. By the way, the ocean you're seeing here is from this video, and all of my project files are available on my Patreon, so definitely check it out. Now for the other scene, I used a daytime HDRI. The only issue with that is, it doesn't light the scene very well on its own. Like most of you guys, I ended up using a sunlight to do the heavy lifting. If you already have a daytime setup with the sky texture, and you want to light the scene with that while showing the HDRI in the background, the first thing you need to do is make sure the sun rotation of the sky texture matches the HDRI direction. After that, you can mix them using a mix shader, add a light path node and connect the camera ray into the factor. If you get the other way around, just switch the sockets. Obviously, you're not going to get perfect lighting right away, but here are a few tips that really help. First, make sure to use volumetrics. Add a cube and scale it so it properly covers your entire scene. Go into the shader editor, add a principled volume shader and plug it into the volume socket. Keep the density very low and increase the anisotropy to around 0.7. This alone adds a lot of depth. The second tip is to use light blocking. Unlike lighting a product or a character, where we can easily control which areas the light affects, outdoor scenes are a bit different because light comes from all directions. And the first rule of lighting is to make sure the light doesn't come from the back of the camera. To reduce that, we can use light blocking. Just add a big plane, rotate it, and place it behind the camera. Create a dark, diffuse material for it with max roughness. If it gets annoying or visible, go to the object data properties. Under visibility, uncheck camera, and change the viewport display to bounds. The third tip is to use cloud shadows. You can do this in a similar way by placing a big plane between the sun and your scene. But this time, go into the shader editor and create a basic material. Add a noise texture with a color ramp and plug that into the alpha. Play around with it until you get something interesting. These are the settings that worked best for this scene. By the way, as a new year gift, this entire project file is completely free on my Patreon. So definitely grab it. And if you want to support the channel, you can get the membership, which gives you access to almost all of my project files. Links are in the description. I also use this fake fog technique that I talked about in another video. It adds an extra sense of depth and atmosphere. 
It's basically just an emission shader plugged into the volume socket with a bluish color and very low strength. And finally, in the compositing stage, I use the Cinematic Compositor, which is going to get an update very soon, so keep an eye out for that as well. Link is in the description.